In this video, we are going to create the PHP script needed for login operation. So first here I am going to make the file save us and save it with name login.php save it. Now for login we need only email and password so there is no need of name field. I delete that one and I remove all these statements. So first we need to create the query for retrieve information from table. We need to retrieve information corresponding to email and password. So here I am going to create the query. So create a variable called the query. Select star from. Select star from. Our table name is user info. Where email like and use the variable email okay and the second condition is and password like and password like now use the variable password password Now finish this statement with a semicolon and end this statement with a semicolon. Okay. So now we need to execute this query. So I'm create a variable called uh, result result equal to and call the function mysqli query mysqli query. First you have to pass the connection variable so here it is con and second pass the query here the query available on this variable called the query so if there is some result there is some row available on this result that means there is a user exist so we have to check that one so if my sqli number of rows of variable result variable result greater than zero that means user login success. So here we have to declare some variables. So here I'm going to declare a variable called the response and make it as an array. Now declare another variable called the code and initialize it with some value login login true login true okay I changed that one into login underscore true login underscore true Now declare another variable called the message and we have to initialize some message on it. So before going to initialize these variables, we have to get the person name from table. We have to get the username. So row, we have to get the row from the result. So, so call the function called mysqli fetch array. And the variable is result. This will fetch the array from variable result. Now we have to get the name from the row so name create a variable called the name and variable row of zeroth index that is name now we can create some message login success login success and welcome now display the username the name of the user so it is available on this variable called the name. Okay. Now we have to create some name value pair for the array called the response. So we have to call the function called array push. Now call under now specify the target variable it is a response that is an array. Now call under function called array and now here create the name value pair first name is code and now specify value for code 
the value for code is available on this variable called code now specify second name that is message now specify value for message it is available on this variable called message and finally we have to make a response and it is in the form of a JSON array so we have to call the function called JSON encode now make a JSON array so array of first specify the name it is server response now specify value for it the value is that variable called the response okay so this is the case if login success now we have it to define other case that means login failed so else again we have it to do the same things so I copy all these statements copy all these statements and paste it here okay first here I am going to change value for variable code change that one into login false now there is no need of these two statements remove that one now change the message now change message message is login failed and try again and here also we made some name value pair and finally make the response in the form of a JSON object now we finish the coding for login purpose